friends, welcome back. And for those of you that are new, hi, welcome. My name is Lizbeth and this is my YouTube channel. So I know that last year, I, it's a new year guys, weird, right? That I would be there for, that I would um, keep filming for the rest of the year and into the new year. And we're like, what, two weeks, a week and a half into the new year, a week? A little over a week into the new year. And this is my first time back filming. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I did miss you guys though. But. And I do have a reason for not filming. And I'll get into that in a sec. But first I want to show you something. I am super excited about this. Because. So my husband was watching a YouTube video a while ago. And. Honestly, I forgot about this, but he remembered because he's the best and he's the sweetest. Um, but in this video, this guy had this teapot. And for those of you that don't know, and probably most of you don't, because I don't think I really talked about it, but I enjoy a good cup of tea, especially if it's, if it's not um, seasoned, if it, if it tastes good. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I enjoy a good cup of tea. Um, and I saw this teapot and I was just like, oh, that is the coolest thing ever. And then, like I said, I kind of forgot about it, but the hobby remembered. So hold on just a sec. Sorry, I'm like shaking this. So I don't know if you can see, but look at that. It's a flower that I'm... This is my second time that I've used the spoon because apparently they're good for one more than one thing. So we'll see how this is. But it's like a dried flower bloom that you put in there and then it blooms. And maybe I'll have to show you when it blooms when I use it again. And I don't want to dump it all over the place, but it blooms into this awesome flower thing. Isn't that so cool? Like, I love it. Yeah, when he showed me yesterday, I'm pretty sure my face looked like the biggest dork in the world, but I was so freaking excited. I'm still, like, in case you can't tell, I'm still really freaking excited about this. I have to show you something else. Now, this isn't something new. I've had this for a while, but it's one of my favorite things. I've had this for a couple of years. So... And you might have seen these mugs before. Well, let's see if it does it, if it's warm enough. It looks like just a black mug, right? But, oh, look, you can see it's starting to come. There we go. So it's a mug that that when it gets warm, it changes into a scene. And again, this is not this hottest, so I don't know if you can see it very well, but I don't need my face on the camera. But if you can't see, oh, the glare's a little bit there too, sorry. But it's a Beauty and the Beast scene. And I don't know if I've told you guys this, but Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Hold on just a sec. Still good. It's not the strongest tea, that, or it's not the most flavorful. There we go. Tea that I've ever had, but it's still good. And I love it. Um, but anyway, so Beauty and the Beast is my hands down favorite um, Disney movie, that's what I'm looking for. And so I love it. <laughs> but what was I gonna say? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, just Beauty and the Beast is my hands down favorite Beauty and Disney movie. And speaking of Beauty and the Beast, you guys might have noticed there's there's no door behind me today, and that's because I switched locations. Because for Christmas I got a vanity. I'm I'm probably being the biggest dork in the world right now, and I'm 100% okay with this because 
and I probably sound like I'm all hopped up on caffeine or something. I'm really not. Like this, that drink of tea was the first drink of any kind of tea or caffeine that I've had today. But I'm happy I just got home. Another good, another added, um, another added, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, benefit of changing locations to where I am right now is I can see him when he gets home. So he can't sneak up on me anymore if I'm in here at least. Um, but I got this gorgeous vanity for Christmas and I'll post a picture up here. Um, Good Lord, later. Made a mess of that thing. I know. <laughs> so I have, I'm not going to show you cause it's a mess, but I literally have been we need to buy some stones to stick underneath that thing or something. Yeah, we probably do. I have my makeup spread from here to Timbuktu I think I'll already. I some wood and reinforce the legs on that thing. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Maybe get some more, maybe get some concrete pad, reinforce the flow. Oh, stop. Um... But anyway, so I got this beautiful vanity right. that... If I had a plate of steel and <laughs> laid that underneath it, it'd be a bit lighter than the concrete. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I showed the teapot you got me. Yeah, you show it with the bloom in it? Uh-huh. Um, Speaking of which, I'd like a cup. Okay, it's right there. Or you can have some of that, that works too. Um... But yeah, so I got this beautiful vanity for Christmas, which I absolutely love. And it also has the added benefit of, I feel like it gives me a little more room to spread out and I don't have to feel guilty over taking his, all his space on the counter. Um, but what am I doing? I'm doing my makeup. So I'm, this is probably going to be like the most scatterbrained video ever today, just so you know in advance. Why are you using a brush jaw when you got those brush holders that come with the vanity? Well, because I've been using these brushes for a while, and I got to clean them anyway, so I figure I might as well use them again before I clean them. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like you can, you could, instead of having them in the jaw, you could take them. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, Because I didn't think I had that far. I'm um, be glad you're cute. You love me. Most of the time. <gasps> Rude. <laughs> anyway, I'm not oh. doing anything suspicious in any way, shape, or form whatsoever at all. I believe you. you. Trust me. What did you think of the tea, by the way? I like it. It's good, right? What is it? It's blueberry acai? Yeah, let me see that one to show. And this is what it looks like. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. That's the, that's the package. You he just gave it. me the package. Yeah, can you give me the other one? Yeah, it's acai, 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 however you say that, blueberry. No, that one's, no, that one's acai. This one's blueberry. Mm -hmm. Oh, a kai berry. Sorry. Um, yeah, the one that I'm drinking is a kai berry, and this one is blueberry. And that's the bloom before um, you put it in the water. So it's just this dried clump of um, tea, tea leaves and other ingredients. Yeah. And we might be lucky if I actually get my makeup done uh, this video. <laughs> but, oh, and for those of you who are new again, what I do is I, um, and I know I'm like nine minutes into this video, but what I do is I do my makeup Will I talk about, well, I tell a story or talk about something that interests me. Uh, anyway, I so. I have to say the natural light is a much more, is much more becoming on you than the, uh, fluorescent incandescent, whatever those bulbs are in the other room. I know it really does look better, doesn't it? So pretty much this whole getting this vanity and moving because I moved over into the guest room and I've opened the window. I turned on the light and I opened the window and I feel like the light is just 
much better in here than it was. You're very welcome for how hard I work so we can afford this place. Yes, you are the best. Thank you so much. Yeah, very well. He really is the best, guys. In case you don't know. But he is. I don't really know what I'm doing with my makeup today. Either. I'm just I'm not kind doing, of doing anything it. suspicious in any way, shape, or form. I believe you. All right, all right. Probably gonna have to go check on him in a little bit just to see what the heck he's actually oh, doing. Check on me. I'm not doing anything suspicious at all, woman. Quit your bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely have to go check on him in a little bit. I don't remember what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Was I talking about the vanity? Anyway, yeah, so I got the vanity and moved into the guest room and it's just, I love it. And the vanity is so pretty. Again, I know I've said that like five times already and I'll post a picture of it, but it also reminds me of Beauty and the Beast because it's just it's this beautiful color and it's got a rose on the top of it like Beauty and the Beast and I love it. It's my favorite. Um, what was I going to say? Um, but anyway, so why I wasn't posting for the past uh couple of weeks is we had some family coming well and I already knew this but we had family come into town for Christmas and I was spending we were spending time with them because we don't get to see them very much only every year or two I believe um depending on so well I mean sometimes a little more depending on circumstances but we got to um anyway so um my older brother and his family came into town and we just we had the best visit and I'm not saying we usually have bad visits because we don't we all we all get along pretty well but this was just like the best visit we had so much fun and I mean, I'm not going to, we didn't really even do, I'm not going to say we didn't do anything, but it was pretty tame because, especially because of the global situation, we didn't really go out and do anything crazy, but we just really enjoyed being together, huh? Mm-hmm. Except for the time they had to run off and get to work. This is true. My poor hubby, unfortunately, couldn't be with us the whole time because we had to work. Or we... <laughs> He, sorry, I'm just, I'm just lumping myself in with him, apparently. I am your hair, your half. This is true. Um, but we, he, um, he had to work some of the time. So unfortunately he didn't get to, um, enjoy it as much as the rest of us. But we had, it was just a really, really good visit. And... So, y'all know I love makeup, and I love doing it, I love playing with it, I pretty much love everything about it, I love trying new things, doing new looks, but for me, makeup is not like the end-all, be-all, end-all, I guess is what I'm trying to say. There are always, there are things that are more important to me. And spending time with family, friends, is more important to me. I'm not saying you can't do makeup while you're spending time with family and friends, but I didn't. And honestly, I think this is like the second time this year I've done my makeup. But I am back now, and I'm super excited. I've got, um, I'm not going to show you all the fun new things I have to show you today. Because actually I do have quite a few fun new things um, and, but I'm, and this is a little orange, but I'm going to spread it out a little bit, I feel, because I just am, I don't know. 
But so yeah, we had an awesome visit with them. We got to see the cutest nieces and nephews and have a lot of fun with them. Got to meet my newest niece finally. So that was super fun. And oh, we had family pictures taken. And that was super fun. I actually did my mom's makeup for them. We I was going to do I did my little sister's makeup too a little bit. I was going to do a little more, but we <laughs> We kind of ran out of time and so we were we were kind of scrambling for time towards the end we had to get there so it didn't turn out exactly like we had planned for me doing the makeup but I think I still think it turned out pretty good I hope it did we got the pictures back and I think they turned out pretty good I hope, I don't know, maybe they're horrible. I'm just kidding. We're all too gorgeous to make them horrible. But we, um, did we do? We played a lot of games. My family, we always, enjoy, we enjoy the game. Well, most, most people do. There are a few who don't. And honestly, for a long time, I didn't really enjoy playing games. But I don't know, as I've gotten older, and there are still some games I just, I don't want to play. But as I've gotten older, I found that playing games is a little more fun. And um, the, oh, by the way, the vanity was from my sweet mother-in-law. She is the best. What was I going to say? I feel like I'm, I just keep circling back to the vanity. I'm going to, I'll try to stay away from the vanity for now, but it's just, it's really exciting. Um, what am I looking for? What you doing? Hey, love? It's ominously quiet out there. Anyways, I'm sure it's nothing, right? Um, anyway, so, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, we played a lot of games. Um, my husband actually got this fun game called Poetry for Neanderthals. And it was a really fun game. Like, the point of the game is you, you're, you have to describe something to someone else using only one syllable words and if you use two syllable words somebody else bonks you with the with a bat not a real bat a blow-up bat but you have so you're trying to describe something to somebody else using only one syllable words and it's actually it's pretty hard i'm not gonna lie because it's so easy just to lapse and say what you're trying to say with two syllable words. But it is, but it's a super fun game. But it's yeah, it's called Poetry for Neanderthals. Ugh. Poetry for Neanderthals because you're basically speaking like a caveman. Or trying to describe something like a caveman would. Which, yeah, but it's fun. We also played another game that my brother got called Quacks, Quacks of Quedlinburg. I think that's what it's called, Quacks of Quedlinburg. And that was a super fun game. We played that game a lot. They... You are making a potion and like you're all playing the game together. Like you're really not taking turns. You're all just doing it simultaneously. And that was new, but I actually, I actually really liked the fact that we were all doing it simultaneously because 
you could, because I felt like it just, you could help each other. And I felt like it just go went, well, not really, uh, I mean, it wasn't like a cooperative game. You're all trying to get your, you're all trying to make the, uh, get farthest on this potion board. But you're also, but like the consequences, like if you were behind or whatever, it was like you get, you don't really get more consequences. You get more, if you were behind like the leader, you get more advantages because you could, there were like more advantages to help you out, to help you get farther. So that was cool. But that's a really fun game. If you guys like games, I highly suggest both of those games because they were super fun. What am I looking for now? Uh, we went to the hot tub a few times. That was super fun. Um, took the nieces and nephew and my mom and sister-in-law a few times. And I think we all really enjoyed that. But I mean, yeah, other than that, we, we pretty much stayed home and enjoyed each other's company. Again, playing games and talking, all that good stuff, catching up. Um, and so this might make me sound materialistic and I'm not trying to be materialistic, but can I tell you, like, I really didn't get, I'm... <laughs> I'm a hard person to buy for. I acknowledge this because I never know what to ask for because I don't know. I'm the kind of person who, if I want something and if I can afford it, I get it. Um, and so I never know what to ask for, for like birthdays, and Christmas and stuff. I know I'm I'm that person, but honestly, I don't think I got anything that I didn't like. Like it just, I really it was it was a good year. It was a good Christmas. But. Again, that wasn't even the best part of it. We just, we had a lot of fun. We got to, we also got to spend some time with the in-laws and had a good time with them. So that was lots of fun. And. Yeah, it was just, it was a really good break. And. Now that we've been home, I've been home for like um, a week, week and a half. No, about a week. And I, you know when you've just had a good time and whatever and you just need a few days to decompress, get things organized. Well, I'm not going to lie. I have not gotten everything organized. I haven't got as much done as I need, should. So I need to get back on track with that. And by the way, happy late Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I really do hope you guys are having an awesome New Year. And I hope that this year is amazing for you all. I'm not going to lie. It has been, it's been a good start for us, I feel. So I am... I am optimistic about this year so far. And I dearly hope that this year is the year that my greatest wish comes true. And if you guys don't know what that is, I've talked about it a few times, but I don't really feel like talking about it today. I made a video back in October about my story. So if you want to know, go check that out. And... But I hope that that comes true and I hope I have, I hope that this year just treats all of you so good. I forgot. No, I didn't. I found sound like I'm wrapping up. I'm really not, but I just wanted to throw that in there. Let's see. 
Oh, so oh, also, I finally saw... Oh, hold on. So have you guys heard of the new series on Netflix, Bridgerton? So I saw a commercial for it, and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. <laughs> I do not recommend it for small children. I actually didn't get through the first episode because it was, it's well done. <laughs> but it's a lot. It is, <laughs> it is um within like the first five minutes of watching, there's uh, um, inappropriateness going on. <laughs> It's not a family family friendly show, but I will say it is. I feel like it's well done, but and I like the style. It, it I like the style it's in because I like I like watching like period romances and uh, period TV shows, but it's very very risque. Yeah, it is. Um, but if any of you have seen it or have seen past, like, I don't know. Actually, I think I got, I don't, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. I think I got maybe halfway through the first episode before I called it quits. But if any of you have gotten further and um, if you like it, please let me know. Because I still am a little bit curious about it. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not dying, I swear. Just got something in my throat. But anyway, yeah, if so, if you've seen like farther than half the halfway through the first episode or and if you liked it, let me know. If it's terrible, let me know that too. Because I still am a little curious, but I don't know how curious I am, if that makes sense. I don't... Because, yeah, I don't know. I don't... Again, I like period romances and everything, but I tend to stick towards more of the safer, I guess, period romances. Like, oh, so, like Jane Austen. I love Jane Austen. I like her books. I like the movies. Persuasion, one of my favorite movies in the world. The 2007 version, love it. I, I, see, I think it was 1995. I think that's um, another version of Persuasion I've seen. Um, honestly, I think I've seen multiple versions of most of the movies that have been made out of Jane Austen books, except for maybe Northanger Abbey. I think I've only seen one version of that one. But, yeah, I've seen the 1995 version. I think it's 95 or 99. No, pretty sure it's 95 version of um, Persuasion. And that one's well done, too. But I love the 2007 version. It's just, it's my favorite. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just, you just know those movies that you see and you're just like, I love this movie. That's me for that movie. What the heck am I looking for? Please don't mind me, guys. Like I said, I'm a little scattered today. I have got makeup everywhere. I need to organize it after I finish this video. And I just, again, it's my first day back from like a two week break and so, a little scatterbrained, but we'll get there. But honestly, I feel like this video is going better than I thought it would. I get, and I still kind of feel like I'm hopped up on caffeine, even though I'm not. But it's a good, it, it really has been a good start to the year. I, I really hope this optimism keeps going. I know there's a lot of things in the world that are uncertain and scary 
and just there's a lot of things going on that a lot of people don't agree with actually I think there's a lot of things that pretty much no matter what side of the debate or the what your views are there's always things in the world that people don't like but it is a harrowing time right now I guess so I do hope you guys are staying safe and being careful and all that good stuff. I do hope that this year is a lot better than last year for so many of you. Because last year, it was a hard year. 100% a hard year. 10 out of 10 would not do again. I'm really not sure how this look is going to work out. I don't know if I'm going to love it or hate it or just be mad about it right now. I have to see when I get to the end. Because <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm loving it right now. But we'll see. And again, I really like this natural light. It is wonderful. I should have done this sooner. But then again, I didn't have a vanity. So, you know. Um. Anyway, I was talking about... Uh, uh, period films, right. And then I was talking about um, Persuasion. Also, I like the book. I think that's probably my favorite Jane Austen book as well. I think I've read, have I read all of them? I think I've read all of the Jane Austen books as well. I did, so I did have a hard time with Emma because She just bugs me in the book. I love the movies. Like, I've seen... I've seen a few versions of Emma. And that's actually what I'm getting to toward, towards, too. Um, I've seen a few versions of Emma. Now what am I looking for? Right. And I've seen the Gwyneth Paltrow one, which was 2009, I think. And I've seen the, uh, it's, it's a mini series. I don't remember when it was done. I'll look it up and I'll post it. Um, and I don't even remember who the actors are in it. I know that's sad, but I love it. But anyway, that's besides the point. Cause that's one of my favorites. Is it, wait, is it 2009 the Gwyneth Paltrow one? I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. And I'll post it when I look it up. But. I did enjoy the Gwyneth Paltrow one. It wasn't my favorite one. But it wasn't bad. And. What else? And then the mini series one. I think it was a BBC mini series. And I really enjoyed that one. That one was fun. And it just I felt like that one because it was longer, I think it was like three or four episodes. It's been a while since I've seen it. But it was like three or four episodes. And they just I feel like they could just when that's longer, I feel like you can just add so much more to the story. And whether that makes it good or bad. Cause like going on a tangent here for a sec please excuse me but the like the pride and prejudice I kind of feel the opposite about so I do like the uh the longer one and I believe that is also the year 1995 don't quote me on that but I do like that one, but I actually like the Kira Knightley version better. Don't shoot me. Because I don't know why. I just I like the I think I like the I like the acting a little better. Again, please don't please don't hurt me. <laughs> That's my personal opinion. I just I like the Kira Knightley version better. Sorry. To all you tourists out there who like the uh, Colin Firth version better. 
But again, that I just that's my opinion. What you gonna do? Anyway, where? And if you guys like the 95 version better, that's awesome. I can't fault you for that at all. What is going on right there? I don't know. Sorry, I'm just asking and answering the questions. I don't know how I feel about that. That could go from like my blush. I'll we'll show you this. So this is a Morphe palette of highlighters. I believe. Yeah? Yeah, highlighter palette. I say as I'm using it. And it's, it's a gorgeous palette. Very pretty. I I love, love, love the colors. I, mean, I think I'm actually going to play with it for like eyeshadows and stuff too. Because look at that. That is, I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on. But look about it. Ooh. They are very... I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I'm sorry if you can't. But I feel like they are very high, very pigmented highlighters. And very pretty colors. I'm looking for it. I probably could have just taken that down and used it as blush as well, but I want to use this one, so I'm going to use this one. But anyway, so back to Jane Austen. So, yeah, that actually blends really well in with the blush. And you guys know how I feel about highlighters. I don't use them a whole lot. Occasionally I do. Like today I felt like it. But again, I'm not sure how I feel like the, how I feel about this look today. So we'll have to see. A lot of the stuff I'm using today is new or I haven't used it very much. And I'll talk about it more towards the end. But anyway, focus. Sorry. So, anyway, so Persuasion. Love it. Love the 2007 version. It's my favorite. And back to Emma. So, like I was saying, I had a hard time with the book. She just, and it's been a while since I've read it, but I remember when I read it, I had, I had a hard time with the book. Oh, also, side note, did you know that they have, like, Pride and Prejudice, and I believe they have a few other Jane Austen Marvel comics? I had no idea until my brother and sister-in-law brought one that he was reading to his kids, and it was the Pride and Prejudice one, and it's, it's so cool, like, it is so, it is really well done. It, the pictures are beautiful and it's just, I really, I was flipping through it because they mentioned it. I'm like, because he was um, saying that he was going to read the Pride and Prejudice comic book to his kids one night. And I'm like, what is the Pride and Prejudice comic book? And so he showed me and it's just, it's really cool. <laughs> But what am I looking for now? Right. But yeah, so that's something really cool. Sorry, apparently another tangent. And
All right, so back to Emma. So yeah, I had I had a hard time with reading the book, but I do like the movies. Oh, I'm trying to think. Is the Gwyneth Paltrow one 2009 or was it 99? I honestly don't remember. I don't think it was 2009. But it might be. I'll look it up and I'll post it. Or if you know, please let me know down below. <laughs> um, but I think, I know, I think it was 99. I don't know why I'm fixating on this. It doesn't really matter for my purposes. I just, I like to know things. <laughs> but. Also, so. I'll talk about that in a second. Let get through what you're talking about and then talk about other things. Sorry, don't mind me. I didn't want to do that yet. I hope that this super scattered um video is at least bringing you a little <laughs> entertainment. I don't know what the heck I'm doing today. But yeah, anyway, so, uh, anyway, didn't love the book, but maybe I'll need to give it another shot. It's been, it's been a few, quite a few years since I've read it. But when I was reading it, it just, it bugged me. She bugged me a little bit. Sorry for those of you that love the book, but I struggled with it. Uh, I don't know why I struggled with the book, but love the mo but really enjoy the movie so much. Maybe it's just I don't know. I guess maybe in movies sometimes you can feel the emotions more. I don't know. I honestly don't know, but. Anyway, so, and you know, I knew that another, they had come out with another Emma movie earlier, actually early to in 20, early last year, but I didn't see it because I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. And I had a friend who didn't love it. And so I just... I don't know. I was like, I've seen a couple versions of it. Do I really need to bother seeing this version? And I also read some things. It's like, you know, it's just the same old thing. But I was talking to my sister-in-law while she was here. And, and I mentioned that I hadn't, or they were talking about the 2020 Emma. And I mentioned that I hadn't seen it. And she was like, oh man, if I would have known, I would have brought it. She was like, because I guess she really liked it. And I'm like, well, I might as well give it a shot. And I did, and I'm really glad I did. It was, I enjoyed it. It was, there was um, a little more nudity than, like, than the other versions. But it was fun. It was just, like, it was it wasn't, it wasn't terrible nudity. It's a, it's a Jane Austen film for goodness sakes, but there was a little more nudity than in the other versions I've seen, but it was just, it was good. The acting was phenomenal. The, and yeah, it was, it was the Emma storyline, you know, and I would be disappointed. Honestly, I would be disappointed. <laughs> if they made it really different from the book because the book's a classic sorry i've got mascara but you know the books are classic they kept to the emma storyline which i definitely appreciate 
but it was just, it was so good. And speaking of the, hold on. Sorry, can't talk to you. I um with Helena. Well, I'm going to have to put my lipstick on and then I'll be right back. I mean, I'm not going anywhere, but I'll start talking again. All right, so I was talking about Emma and Christopher. So yeah, loved the new Emma version. I thought it was fantastic. Um, the I actually and I actually just recently watched the two thousand seven version of Persuasion again. So I had a copy when. Um, when we were over the road that loved to watch and but I think it got lost sometime or broken sometime when we were over the road and I've looked for it for like years and wanted to find it and honestly I could have bought the DVD but I just I didn't and but I found it did but I finally found it on Amazon and Super excited. I've watched it again. I love it. Uh, anyway, so this is my look today. I don't, again, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't hate it. Oh, and also, I haven't said this in a while, but I am still working on getting my makeup artist certification. So I'm still super excited about that. So again, I'm not sure how I feel about this look today. I don't, the foundation is, a, I feel like it's got a little bit too much of an orange tint. It's not terrible, but it's not my favorite either. The, I do, I do like this mascara. So what a Christmas present I got was my mom got me, um, got me, uh, got bleh. let me try that again. Hi. <laughs> so my mom got me some Ipsy and I think I mentioned this before, but I've done Ipsy on and off for, oh, I don't know, a couple of years, but I haven't done it in a while. So I'm super excited about this, but this is one of the things that I got in my first Ipsy bag. It's the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and I do really like it. I feel like it, um, it does make my eyelash, it does make my eyelashes look really good. And I feel like it does make them look longer. So I do like that. And also my liquid lipstick, you guys know I love my red lips. I've also kind of been liking more of a neutral color lately, but I got this also in my first Ipsy bag and 
It's called, it's from Beauty For Real. And it's just this gorgeous um, red color. And it, I feel like it smooths out the lines in my lips. It's moisturizing. I enjoy it. And um, this is my second time using it. So we'll have to see how it goes um, for the rest of the day. I feel like the first time I used it, it wasn't, might have not been the longest lasting. I also didn't use it with a lip liner or anything. I did use a lip liner today, so we'll see how that affects it. But it's, but overall, I don't hate the look. I don't know if it's my favorite. I do like the yellow eyeliner. I didn't really, or not eyeliner, um, eyeshadow. I did feel like I didn't spend a lot of time on my eyes today, and I'm okay with that. But I also had no idea what I wanted to do with my eyes, but I know I did want to do the yellow eyeshadow look, because I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> but, so, I think that's it for today. Um, I, oh, hold on, I'm giving you side view. Side view. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, I was a little scattered, but I'm back. And I hope you guys enjoyed some of the new things I had to show you. Oh, yeah, I'll show you that tomorrow. I also got some super cute earrings that I was going to wear today. But I don't feel like going to get them right now. So I will show you tomorrow. But I think they are my new favorite pair of earrings. I love them. And I'm just, I'm super excited to be back. I will show you, I have got some more fun things to show you tomorrow and through probably, honestly, probably for a few days after too. Maybe for a little while. We'll see how long I can drag it out. But please remember to hit that like and subscribe button just down there so you can get notified of more of when I upload. And I will be trying to upload every day. If I don't, well, again, something probably, something came up or I had had a family thing or just needed a break I don't know but I'm back but it's a new year I'm super excited and also I feel like the break was good because it got me excited about makeup again not that I wasn't well, I was unexcited about makeup but you just know sometimes when you just need that break to get invigorated again I feel like I'm invigorated again and I'm super excited to make this work so I'm super excited to make this channel work and I'm super excited about this year. I hope you guys again are having a great uh, first part of your year and I hope this year is just amazing for all of you. Uh, best wishes for all of you. I'm so thankful for all of you. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know I don't say it enough but I'm truly grateful for all of you who watch my videos. And uh, what was I going to say? I think that's pretty much it. Please remember to always treat people with kindness and respect. And I should probably go see what my hobby is up to now. Oh, let me try that again. Please remember to treat everyone with kindness and respect. Everyone has a story. We don't know what it is. And I will post pictures and uh, if I and facts in case of things that I talked about in case I forgot anything or got anything wrong. I'll try and fix it in editing. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I better go see what's up with the hubby. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.